Did you know that diabetes can affect many parts of your body, including your skin? In fact, skin changes are one of the most common signs of diabetes. Diabetes can affect the nerves and blood vessels in your body, including those in your skin. Changes in your skin can be a sign that something is going on beneath the surface. In this video, we are going to learn about the signs of diabetes that can appear on your skin. 1. A tan or brown stain. You might mistake it for a tan or brown stain and try to scrub it off, but it won't work. This condition is common in people with diabetes. Your skin usually darkens and thickens, and it might feel velvety. It could itch and smell too. The back of the neck, groin, folds of elbows, knees, knuckles, and armpits are common spots. What causes it? Acanthosis nigricans is a sign of insulin resistance and can be a sign of prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. It is common in people who have obesity. What to do? Some creams can help make the spots look better, but the most effective treatment is to address the root cause, like obesity or insulin resistance. Lifestyle changes such as being physically active and maintaining a healthy weight can help reverse insulin resistance. 2. Diabetic skin ulcers. Necrobiosis means degeneration and death. Small, raised, red spots on your skin slowly grow larger and shinier and sometimes turn yellow. Your skin may thin and split, causing sores called skin ulcers. It can itch and hurt, but it's very rare. What causes it? The cause of necrobiosis lipoidica isn't completely clear, but women are more likely to have it than men. It usually develops when changes in fat and collagen, a fiber-like protein in your body, happen beneath the skin's surface. What to do? There is no cure for the condition, so treatment is focused on managing signs and symptoms. In the early stages, topical steroid creams can be used to keep it from getting worse. You'll want to talk with your doctor so they can find the right treatment plan for you. Only one in 300 people with diabetes have it. It's hard to treat, but prescription medications, injections, or lotions may help. 3. Diabetic dermopathy, shin spots. This condition is also known as shin spots, and it's harmless. These can look like simple age spots, but they're not. High blood sugar from diabetes damages small blood vessels and causes these brownish patches. These roundish rough spots often appear on your shins. They appear on the front of your legs, your shins, and are often confused with age spots. The spots don't hurt, itch, or open up. Dermopathy is usually harmless and should fade away in 18 months or so, but it also can last a long time. What causes it? Diabetes can cause changes in small blood vessels that reduce blood supply to the skin. What to do? This skin condition is harmless and doesn't need treatment. If you do have any concerns about shin spots, talk to your doctor. Before we continue, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all tips on health and wellness. 4. Skin Eruptions Uncontrolled diabetes can lead to eruptive, exanthematosis breakouts of these pimply, waxy bumps on your feet, hands, arms, legs, and butt. Young males with type 1 diabetes are particularly likely to get them. The skin eruptions may be tender and itchy, but they're not contagious. Talk to your doctor about how to better control your blood sugar levels. What causes it? This condition is rare. It's caused by having high levels of cholesterol and triglycerides, fat in the blood. What to do? The best treatment is to bring blood fat levels under control. Your doctor may also want to prescribe medicine to help lower your cholesterol. Talk to your doctor about having your cholesterol checked so that you can take steps to prevent high cholesterol. 5. Bacterial infection. High blood sugar can dry out your skin and curb your immune system. This raises your risk of skin infections, with staph, staphylococcus being the most common. Bacterial infections cause tissue, cells that make up organs and other body parts, to become inflamed, hot, swollen, red, and painful. You might have styes on your eyes, inflamed hair follicles, folliculitis, or infected nails. What causes it? Anyone can get a bacterial infection, but people with diabetes tend to get more than people without diabetes. Bacteria thrive when there is too much glucose sugar in the body. A common type of bacteria 
responsible for bacterial infections in people with diabetes, is Staphylococcus, Staph. What to do? Bacterial infections usually can be treated with antibiotics. Keeping your blood sugar levels within the normal range can help you avoid infections. Healthy eating, getting physical activity, and taking your medicine as instructed can help you manage your blood sugar. Talk to your doctor if your skin feels swollen, itchy, painful, or hot, especially if you know you have high blood sugar or diabetes. 6. Dry, itchy skin. This is a common complaint, even among people who don't have diabetes. But itchy skin can result from dry skin or poor circulation, both of which are more likely when you have diabetes. It helps if you limit your time in the shower or the bathtub, wash with mild soap, and moisturize after you bathe. What causes it? Too much sugar in the blood causes the body to pull fluid from its cells so that it can produce enough urine to remove the excess sugar. This can make your skin dry. What to do? You'll want to monitor your blood sugar levels and keep them in your target range as much as possible. It also helps if you limit your time in the shower, use mild soaps, and use lotion after showering. Exercise is one of the best ways to improve circulation and has many other health benefits. 7. Fungal infections. Fungi, like bacteria, love to hang out in the moist folds of skin. That includes your armpits, under the breasts, around the nails, and the corners of the mouth. You may have heard it called athlete's foot on your feet, jock itch around your genitals, or ringworm on your scalp. Candida albicans is the most common fungus that causes it. What causes it, like bacterial infections? Anyone can get a fungal infection, but they are common in people with diabetes. Fungal infections are more likely to occur when blood sugar levels are high. What to do? Talk to your doctor about prescription or over-the-counter medicine that can help treat fungal infections. Keeping blood sugar levels within the normal range by checking your blood sugar often, eating healthy, and getting regular exercise is the best way to prevent fungal infections. Your doctor can help treat the infection and tell you if it's a sign of uncontrolled diabetes. 8. Diabetic blisters. This condition looks like Bullosis diabeticorum. These might pop up suddenly on your fingers, toes, hands, feet, and sometimes on your legs or forearms. They're usually white with no red around them. The blisters might look scary, but they usually don't hurt and heal on their own in about three weeks. They could be a sign that you have diabetes or that your blood sugar levels aren't controlled. What causes it? The cause of diabetic blisters is unknown. They can appear with no known injury to the skin. You're more likely to get diabetic blisters if your blood sugar's levels are high over time. What to do? Most blisters heal on their own without leaving a scar. Daily inspection of your feet and skin is the best way to find early signs of blisters. The best way to prevent them from developing or getting worse is to bring your blood sugar down to normal levels. Talk to your doctor about your symptoms. 9. Digital sclerosis. This condition starts with tight, thick, waxy skin on your fingers and can cause your finger joints to become stiff and hard to move. If blood sugar levels remain high, digital sclerosis can cause your skin to become hard, thick, and swollen and can spread throughout your body. What causes it? It can happen with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. However, this condition is more common in people with type 1 diabetes who have high blood sugar levels. What to do? The only treatment for digital sclerosis is to bring blood sugar levels down into the normal range. Physical therapy may help improve the range of motion of affected joints. Skin is a good indicator of health. When diabetes affects your skin, it's often a sign that your blood sugar levels are too high over time. Some skin changes can appear even before you've been diagnosed with diabetes. Others could be a sign that your diabetes treatment needs to be adjusted. Either way, you'll want to make an appointment with a doctor to be screened for diabetes or to talk about adjusting your treatment. They can help you prevent serious complications with your skin and other parts of your body. Early diagnosis and treatment are key to preventing serious complications from skin problems caused by diabetes.